TSA agents continue to find an alarming number of weapons at security checkpoints at Honolulu's International Airport. The most recent incident involved a concealed knife in a carry-on bag and another one taped to the traveler's leg. We wanted to know what other items are being confiscated. Manolo Morales got some answers in tonight's I-Team report. 99% of it is common sense. TSA laid out a small sample of what's been confiscated at Daniel K. Inouye International Airport in the past few months. Officials say most are knives or items sharp enough to be used as knives. There are certain types of brushes and combs where they actually have hidden in it, like a little bit of a, a pointed tip. You'll also find blades in this type of item. They're concealed. We call it artfully concealed. In April, TSA agents confiscated a knife disguised as a comb from a traveler's bag and a butterfly knife taped to his leg. Banker says TSA is still trying to determine what punishment to hand out. For items like that, we don't have the ability to say you cannot fly. On more egregious incidents, sometimes with the help of law enforcement, we will say maybe that travel needs to come back tomorrow. Some of the items are merely souvenirs or trinkets, but keep in mind, if it can be used as a weapon, you'll have to check it in your luggage and not carry it on. People like these, they want to take them back to show their friends and all of that, but a little common sense would say, you don't bring that in your carry-on luggage. She adds that baseball bats, even miniature ones, will be confiscated and tools that are longer than seven inches are not allowed because they can be used as weapons. Because travelers are caught off guard because they get used to carrying sharp items as makeshift weapons. Because they're on their keychains all the time, they come to the checkpoint with them on their keys, our officers are looking for them. They give them an option. The other options are putting the item in your check luggage or back in the car if possible. Banker says there have been a lot of incidents lately of travelers to Kauai, presumably campers, bringing canisters of butane, which are not allowed in the plane at all. People bringing this to the security checkpoint in their carry-on luggage or putting it in their check baggage. And because this is fuel, it's flammable, it is not allowed on an aircraft. She says you can actually send a picture to the Ask TSA Facebook or Twitter site and find out if that item is allowed. Manola Morales, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.